Hello everybody, Killer here, and today we're going to be looking at my top 10 spring fragrances for 2016. So at number 10, I'm going to be picking Paco Rabanne's Black Excess Lexi, and this is a really nice pineapple, like a fruity pineapple, and it's quite aquatic too. I get a sort of like a wet patchouli vibe, <laughs> I know that sounds quite weird, but I get like a wet patchouli vibe in this fragrance, and it's quite ambery in the dry down too. This is a very long lasting fragrance, uh, the projection is above average on this one, I get about 8 hours of uh, longevity, and about 3 to 5 hours decent projection. This is a really nice uh, casual fragrance, uh, can be used for clubbing, uh, it's a really nice clubbing fragrance as the projection is quite strong within the first two hours. It is quite a young fragrance but um, obviously anybody can wear any fragrance they want to but I'm just saying it's classed as a sort of young fragrance to my nose, like a sort of fruity young vibe and it's quite synthetic and all so if you don't like synthetic fragrances I don't care as long as it smells nice but if you don't like synthetic fragrances you might not like this fragrance so that's something to be warned about. At number 9 I'm going to be picking Carolina Herrera's Chic for Men, this is a really nice fresh peppery uh, watermelon up top, a really nice watermelon note. There is a nice uh, sort of fruity, like a salty, uh, slightly salty, fruity watermelon vibe. Uh, you get cinnamon in there, like nice sweet cinnamon. There's a distinctive cardamom note in there, which I love. It gives it, it adds to this spiciness, the fresh spiciness. The opening is a bit synthetic, but um, you get a nice spicy woody dry down, which I love. I reckon it's casual and formal. You could wear this in both situations to my nose. It's quite a versatile fragrance. So for my number eight spot, I'm going to be picking Salvatore Ferragama F Black, and this is a really nice spicy, peppery, citrusy. It's quite aromatic and uh, you get a lavender note up top and like a tonka bean vibe, like a sweet, uh, sort of slightly fruity, citrus tonka bean vibe uh, with that apple note of course. The opening is a bit synthetic but after about half an hour it starts getting really nice and uh, woody and sort of like sweet and spicy at the same time. It's a really long lasting fragrance and the projection is above average. So for my number 7 spot I'm going to be picking Rosasi's Matter Walk and I have reviewed this fragrance so click this annotation to see the full review. This is a really nice sweet musky floral. It's quite soft and powdery too. There's a lavender and cedarwood vibe going on with this fragrance that reminds me of uh, La Mal and Versace Eros a bit, but more La Mal without the vanilla note to my nose. It smells really nice when it dries down, uh, when it starts getting sweet and powdery at the same time, but it still holds on to them floral notes that the opening has. It does have a cumin note in here that might come across as a bit synthetic at the start. It's going to be really nice for spring and summer nights, like a clubbing sort of scent. I get a clubbing vibe out of here. It's got great longevity and projection, and it gets quite a few compliments too. So at number 6, I'm going to be picking Amarf's Tres Nuit. Now, of course, this smells like uh, Green Iris Tweed and sort of cool water. It got them sort of similar vibes. I have owned Green Iris Tweed in the past, and not a full bottle at all. Uh, I've had samples of it, like 5 mils, 10 mils, and 20 mil decants. Green Iris Tweed obviously is the better fragrance out of these two. It starts off a tiny bit synthetic, but it does have a really nice fresh green opening that uh, Green Eyes Tweed has. It does have an aquatic vibe, slightly aquaticness. But for a spring fragrance for like, uh, what, under £20, it's absolutely great. Um, the longevity is not beast mode at all, but uh, it is long lasting and it's a really distinctive smell. Uh, it's a really nice, fresh, uh, clean, lemon, citrusy, smooth, violet. Uh, it's, it's aggressive yet soft. And it's quite, uh, obviously it's got that fresh green grass opening. And it's uh, sporty and like a sort of energetic fragrance. Like a after the sh out of the shower type vibe. Put it this way, if you love uh, cool water and you love green eyes tweed and you love sh uh, Shea Bon if you smell that. Uh, this is a really nice cheapie. You you'd love this cheapie. It's, uh, for the price, it's absolutely amazing, okay? So that's been Tresna Wheat. If you want a really nice fresh um, out of the shower sort of uh, uh, green vibe. Really green sort of uh, citrus vibe. Yeah, um, you can't go wrong for the price with this one. And that's been uh, Amarf's Tres Nuit. Um, on to the next one, let's go. At number five, I'm gonna be picking Dorum Sport. Uh, this is the 2012 formulation. This is the only formulation I've really tried and I love it, I absolutely love this fragrance. When I first bought this fragrance, I sprayed it on and I uh, was a bit disappointed. Um, I did smell it in boots uh, in the store when I uh, before I bought it, but I was a bit disappointed when I got home because uh, I must have been smelling all different fragrances and uh, my nose must have been fatigued. And I smelled it when I got home and it smelled so generic, so like just citrus, clean citrus straight up. And I didn't understand the depth of it. But when I sprayed it on like uh, a couple of days later, Oh, I fell in love with it instantly. It is absolutely gorgeous fragrance. And on my skin, it's quite powerful too. Um, it does project quite a lot on my skin, uh, but it doesn't last that long. It lasts about five hours. Three hours out of that five, you're going to get a really decent projection. This is a really fresh, citrusy, smooth. It's really smooth, this fragrance is. You're going to get a woodiness, like a creamy cedar wood vibe. It's surprisingly fruity up top, even though it's just citron, the note citron. It comes across like a grapefruit, sort of fresh lemon, but it, it's not like a cleaning product lemon. It's like um, a f really fresh, natural smelling 
grapefruity lemon sort of smell. And then you get that spicy, slightly spicy gingeriness, which I love in this fragrance. A really nice dose of ginger in here. Obviously, this is advertised as a sport fragrance, but I don't see it as a sort of sporty fragrance. Of, of course, you can use this as a sport fragrance, like a fresh, out of the shower, clean vibe. It can work in so many different applications. It can be used casually. It can be used uh, as a sporting sort of uh, fragrance. It can be used even as a romantic sort of day type fragrance. It's really good in that area and it's elegant and all. It's really classy fragrance. It can work in formal and casual situations, no problem. So that's been Durham Sport 2012 formulation from a number five spot. At number four, I've picked Carolina Herrera's CH Men, one of my all time favorite fragrances. This is a really nice, sweet, leathery fragrance. Uh, smooth and seductive, as I was saying. You're going to get sugar sort of uh, note from this, uh, like a sugar vanilla note. It's really fresh. Uh, you get a green sort of grassy vibe in there too. And it's really complex when you first spray it, but um, it is really nice, uh, co nicely complex. In fact, that's the only way I can put it. It's got average longevity. I wish the longevity and projection was uh, a bit higher, but uh, yeah, what can you say? You can't do anything about that, can you? I've heard it's uh, been reformulated too, but I'm not too sure about that. So uh, yeah, yeah, because the tag is in a different place. It's on the bottom right hand corner, I believe now. So yeah, I'll probably buy a bottle of that soon and test out the new formulation if it has been reformulated at all. It's a really nice fragrance. It's undeniably a compliment getter. Obviously, the projection is not going to be that strong, so you might not get compliments as much as you think with this one because not many people can smell it on you. So at number three, I'm going to be picking Mont Blanc's Individuel. Uh, this is a really nice fruity fragrance. I've uh, mentioned this in my top 10 winter fragrances video. So yeah, this is a, you get like a raspberry sort of vibe up top, like a fruity, soft, uh, sweet raspberry vibe. You get cinnamon in here, like a spicy cinnamon note, which uh, adds to this uh, sort of really nice red fruits, sort of fruity vibe uh, with that raspberry uh, going strong up top. It's quite smooth. I do get a bit of soapiness from this, like a clean clothes sort of smell, like a soapy smell. I get like a really nice sandalwood note mixed in with our vanilla and our uh, fruitiness, which uh, is just a, it's just a really nice fragrance, okay? So at number two, I'm going to be picking a fragrance I bought recently. This is Nightcap by Original Penguin. This is a really nice fresh, like a spicy, sweet. When you first spray it, it comes across as a sweet, slightly powdery melon vibe, like a citrus. Maybe a tiny bit of aquaticness in there. Not really, but uh, um, it's sort of heading towards that direction with that citrus melon note and it's quite fruity too And there's a distinctive vanilla note in here I don't get too much of the mint note in here, but there is a mint note in here quite young and modern uh, Casual fragrance. I wouldn't wear this uh, formally to work or anything. Well, you could actually but um, I see this more as a sort of uh, Hanging out with your friends type fragrance and it's just casual laid-back sweet it's quite refreshing, the opening is. It is slightly synthetic, but I like it. I wish the longevity was um, improved, to be honest. The projection is not too bad within the first couple of hours, but I just keep respraying it, and it's fine, no complaints, and I've had a few compliments from it. It's just a really nice, fresh fragrance. It's refreshing as hell. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot in the summer, too. And as you can tell by the cap, too, it's got a magnetic cap on it. So I love that, it's uh, a really nice uh, cap. So if you just let go, it'll just uh, clip back on like that. I wish the magnets were stronger in here because um, you can't pick up the bottle and it's not that secure. But yeah, it's um, it's better than not, not having a magnetic cap, do you know what I mean? It is uh, quite a nice cap and it's a nice gold design here. So, from my number one spot, I'm going to be picking a Moth's Club to Nuit Intense Man. Now, <laughs> I've put this at number one because I know it's a copy of Creed Aventus, okay? And uh, I love Creed Aventus, by the way, don't get me wrong. Obviously, I don't own a bottle of Creed Aventus, but I've owned multiple batches in the past. Um, I've owned loads of decants of it uh, with different batches. Aventus is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. I love it, okay? It is absolutely amazing fragrance. So, obviously, if, you get the, if you've got a bottle of Aventus, you probably wouldn't even need to buy this fragrance, okay? So, yeah, when you first spray this fragrance, Obviously, it's uh, synthetic and you get like a lemon note uh, instead of the pineapple But sometimes if you spray it like sometimes you spray it and you'd be like wow That's a pineapple note. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think it's the black uh, currant and the apple note mixing in together with our lemon note. It starts off like citrus, woody, and a slightly vanilla note in there. It's usually about five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes. It can it can vary, okay? But it starts turning and it, oh, the transformation of this juice is amazing. You feel them top notes just evaporate off your skin. And then you're left with this really, really rich patchouli note. It's like mixed in with this birch. It's got a smoky vibe too, with a tiniest bit of vanilla in there, which just adds to this Oh, it, it's so amazing the dry down of this fragrance. Uh, another reason why this is number one, my number one spot for spring at uh, 2016 is because it really does get attention, okay? This fragrance does. 
It's like magic, man. And sometimes you wear it and you, you smell it on you all day, okay? You get whiffs of it. But if you go, like, one spray too much with this, you will not smell it at all. Um, I tried I tried one spray of this the other day and uh, on the back of my neck. And it was lasting for about five hours. The dry down was coming off me. It gets more compliments than any fragrance I've owned. That's including Aventus itself, okay? You gotta, you gotta wear this for a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks and experience that dry down on your neck, on your skin, uh, maybe on your clothes too. It's, it's great on clothes. I'm wearing this fragrance more than any fragrance now. Um, I think I finally found a signature fragrance I can uh, keep buying. And I have ordered another bottle of this, actually. Um, it wasn't available on the Take It Today website, so I ordered a bottle off eBay. This bottle is nearly running out now. That's how much I've used of it. It is insane how much I'm going through of this fragrance. It's addicting as hell. Um, I'll probably review the other bottle and compare to this bottle here. I'll compare the fragrances for you and tell you if there's any differences. I doubt there's going to be any differences in batches, but um, I hope there's not batch variations now, because if I receive that bottle I've ordered and um, it's completely rubbish or different to this, um, then I'll start believing people when they say, um, oh, this smells nothing like Aventus and stuff like that. So yeah, that's been my review uh, of these top 10 fragrances for spring 2016. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I did receive a Moth's Craze through the post today, and um, I'll be reviewing that soon. So more reviews coming up soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.